All right, time for an Olaf game. Going into the last week here, pretty much for the ranked season. So I'm just going to be showing you a nice Olaf build that you could use. A very cheesy Olaf build, I will say, but it's going to be quite effective for the most part. So yeah, show you how that's done. Potentially get some elo with this. You're a very, very strong champion with a setup like this. It's, uh, again, potentially a little bit dicey, but you'll see. We'll uh, show you how it's done. I'm going to start on top side here because I don't think a top lane gank is very possible. A top lane gank can be doable after six, maybe. But then again, Gangplank will have the orange. They're both ranged champions. I think the lane, the, the, the lane is just going to be like kind of that awkward stage where a gank is not really going to be a thing. Whereas bot lane, I have like a Lux Q or like these two. They don't really have any mobility. So it makes the gank a little bit easier. So we're just going to start here. Doesn't necessarily matter where you start. Blue start is slightly faster due to being able to throw more axes, basically, because like mana and CDR and all that. Uh, but yeah, the, uh, the clears are fairly similar. Because of the amount of mana sustain you have from the jungle, you'll be chilling for the most part anyway. I'm gonna smite out that one. It's better to do this camp faster at level 2 than uh, sit there the entire time, you know? to use your E as much as possible. Ideally, you want to lose some HP because it gives you the attack speed. And the Gromp doesn't really allow that as much, though. But also, another thing, 60% of people watching my videos aren't actually subscribed. If you are one of those people, consider subscribing, checking if you're subscribed. And yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. Oh, that's a missed auto attack. Should be long enough. Got another point in Q. Don't use any potions here, of course. Seems that my bot lane is quite heavily pushing and actually got first blood, so I guess my gank plan might be a little bit skewed here, but that's okay. Good. Make sure to not throw your axe in an awkward way to have to step back and pick it up, because that would be quite awkward. Try to, like, path in such a way that you can just consistently pick him up pretty freely. I see the top gank would definitely not have been a thing, but the bot gank is also now not a thing because they just killed them, so there's that. Again, I'm not using any potions here. I think you have to be really careful right now. Because the okay, mid's still there. I'm about to say the mid's missing, so that makes things very, very awkward real quick. We're nice and low HP, this is good. We're gonna pop potions to get the HP back up, like scuttle and stuff. But for now, being low HP just gives that extra bit of attack speed, which is good. Okay, my bot lane just recalled, which means the wave is now going to bounce back. What I can do here is I could just go for the scuttle. Wait a little bit for this wave to come back up, and then... Okay, that's very, very bad for me, isn't it? Can't chase that, unfortunately. He would never win the 1v1 against me, but that was going to be bad because the bot lane situation... Oh, God. I was hoping he'd face check me there. It was going to be bad because of the bot lane situation and only because of the bot lane situation. There's no other thing that could have really gone wrong there. I think he's going to be in here somewhere. That didn't hit. Oh, you're joking. That sucks. If that axe hit, that would have been over for him. Ah, uh, and then Katarina went the other direction as well. Eh, uh, yeah. That sucks. I was actually very, very close. If the Katarina didn't like... I don't know why she hopped over the wall there instead of just killing the Viego. Because he turned around for it. Like, actually. But, sure, I guess. Whatever. That's just... That just sucks. Viego got away with murder twice now. Feels kind of bad. I thought I had backup, like I thought we can fight in this area, because even if they like engage on me, Katarina would get a free reset off Diego, and then Maokai would be in trouble because Misfortune is behind here, so she can't really do anything. But then Katarina decided to hop the wall and go for the go for the Misfortune instead, which insta-killed me. That quite literally just insta-killed me, there's nothing I can do about that, unfortunately. There is a chance I can go for the stop gank here, because he's gonna walk up now. He should be very free. Yep. Very free. Very good. I think he pres presumably he wants me to help push this out. He's 
get this into the turret quickly. On this HP, like, I'd rather be here to help this guy push this out. Good job. Help him push that out, get that done in there. Uh, there's a very good chance this dragon's gonna be an issue soon. Ice is getting the kills, though, which is kind of good, I suppose. Diego is very good at doing dragons, so there's a very good likelihood he would be doing it right now, which would I would definitely do it in his shoes if I saw the uh, enemy jungler killing the top laner like that and pushing the wave. But it hasn't been done yet, at least. He didn't do it. All right, then. Take those. I'm gonna get the rest of this clear in here. Try to hit level six. Holtman is literally just winning. <laughs> Alright then, I guess. See if that holds up. I just hit level 6. I suppose we could just drag in here. Really? Interesting control art. I don't really think this is going to... Oh, actually, it might work out a little bit better than I thought for them. Really? I was about to say. Yep, that's Olaf things for you. Okay, cool. Get that wave into the turret, Kaiser resets, we're good. I'm not gonna go for Dragon here, it's way too risky. I have a ton of money here as well, but that triple kill right there, very, very good cleanup. Olaf is a menace. You saw my ult duration pretty much the entire time. I can't get CC. They can't do anything against me. Viego wasn't level 6 yet, which means he can't use his ult. So he's going to be stuck as a champion that he picks up. Which is also quite good for me there. And then, yeah. I'm going to take red here and then recall probably. Just smite to get the smite thing. Definitely need to get the recall in soonish. Thank you. Just ping that she wards that, so we'll have the knowledge. All right, cool. I got my shield bow now. I just wanted to clear just enough to pick this item up because it's going to be huge, of course. I think Viego's either going to go for my blue here, Top Scuttle slash Rift Herald. And that's it, like scenario. I'm going to have my ult back though, so I'm going to clap him. As well as I have shield bow now, so we're absolutely going to clap him. Yep. He's never going to be able to fight me on this, by the way. I should go check up here, I think. Yeah, he respectfully walked away, it seems. It's the only move he could have done. So he can't try to fight me for this. It's just not happening. Ooh, Kaisa just gave them money for no reason. That's a little scary, though. I guess the good thing is it didn't go to Misfortune. It actually went to the Maokai, but... Still, that's free money. That's like 800 gold she just gave. Which is essentially giving three kills to Maokai. I don't think it's necessarily a problem, but it's not great either. Could probably just Herald here, I think. Ooh. That's why the ward from Lux comes in clutch now. We're moving in on this. We just gotta focus the Viego down and we should be good. Have to smite that. We're just gonna chase this guy down. Perfect. I needed the ult there to get rid of the slow on me to be able to catch up to that faster. I wasn't initially trying to smite, but it was a kill shot, so I should always smite if it's a kill shot there. Especially if it's a kill shot on the enemy jungler, because there was gonna be no threat anymore at that point. 
Yeah, that, that ward that I asked for just a little bit earlier from the Lux prevented that entire play from being good for the enemy team. So that's very, very good. It's a little bit of a risky invade, I would say, but I think I should be fine. I'm definitely going to take the recall here, though. Just walking out from this angle is going to be quite bad, I think. All right, so we don't need uh, anything but this. And then we'll go for the collector. I just need long swords. There it is. I'll sprint straight for the Rift Herald right now. Try to pick that up, get that objective out of the way. I think Katarina's probably dead here. The one for one trade. I guess that's fine. Ooh, I think he's gonna go for his top side here. I can probably cheese him. Because if he's gonna do his raptors now, he's probably gonna walk up to his Krugs, I would imagine. I'll wait a little bit. Could be a waste of my time, though. Oh, he's doing Krugs right now. Alright, fine. He actually walked some strange way around, it seems. Cannon. Yoo-hoo! Any engage would be quite nice, but <laughs> I don't think we're getting anything, unfortunately. Dude, just, just walk at him. It's fine. This way I can surprise him with it. Perfect. Like, that way I walk out the other direction over vision on purpose. Because this way I can surprise him with that move. I'm just gonna dive him. Perfect. That works. There was going to be no backup there. No tall planer. Just the 2v1 dive on that guy is going to be very free. Help that guy clear the wave and then we'll leave. I purposely walked out to the right because that way I can loop around. And if the gangplank is trying to cut off the cannon for a fight, which he probably would in that situation, I can then loop in from the bolt side to actually back him up because he expected me to, to have left, if that makes sense. Just a nice cheese, like, playing around the vision he placed type of tactic. That's a bad axe. And obviously my bot lane's doing well, but the rest of the lanes, it's kind of whatever, you know? I can't just run mid here. I walked over a ward. That's unfortunate. Got the bolt scuttle here. It's like she says it's easy gank, but then there's still good vision, and we have no CC for his ult, so he can pretty much always get away with his ultimate, unfortunately. I just have a jungle clear up that I should be doing. Don't have to worry too much about mana or anything. My Kaisa is in fact quite strong. But there is also a massive gap towards the enemy on top side. It's not as big as a of a gap as the AD carry gap currently, but there is like the, the support gap is not that big because the Mauka got that massive shutdown from the Kaisa. But the, like, top lane gap is slightly in the, like, I say slightly, 40 CS, like a level entirely. It's a good amount of favor towards the GP, but the uh, bot lane, obviously, like, Kai's has a lot of kills. Even though the kills are worth less, I actually don't know which one has more favor. I think the Gangplank might actually be slightly ahead here. I want to make sure that I don't get wrecked there by a uh, rise, ca rise Cage, so I press ult. Ensure that I just get him there. I should have heralded mid lane, actually. I'm gonna do that still. Place that down mid, and then we go bot lane here. I suppose I should walk in this direction to help my Lux out. Oh, 
I don't think he beats me in any, wor in any world here, yeah. That's just the power of shield bow Olaf, man. I get a couple crits and he gets me low HP, I get that shield up, and then he just can't fight me anymore. I think it's slightly misplayed for my team there, because they probably should have been able to just run towards me a little bit better. I should have definitely tried to block that W from Kai'Sa, though. Or I say from Kai'Sa, from like, Viego's Kai'Sa, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I mean, you get what I mean, probably. It's fine. I was able to clean up, so that's kind of nice, I suppose. I got the dragon here as well. Just get a nice recall in here, because I have the collector now. And then we build for the Infinity Edge next. I don't have anything to purchase for it, so it's fine, I guess. That's a good kill for Cannon, not bad at all. But yeah, the Viego tried 1v1ing me there. It's just not going to happen for him, man. I'm two levels up on him. I have a shield bow. I'm an Olaf. I crit him like twice. He's dead. Especially right there. I still had a ton of money and I still killed him. No problem. As long as you're playing against a champion with Olaf that can't kite you out, like a Lilia, for example, you will you will win every single 1v1. Like this champion just doesn't lose 1v1s. If it's a like head-on match without being able to like get kited and stuff, it's just free. Oh god, I should have been right. I... Oh, she actually traded one kill at least. That's quite nice. I see. I'm walking with my Katarina. Rise is both. Okay. I don't quite know what I'm doing here, to be honest. It's a little bit dicey. Okay. No, that turret shot's gonna absolutely ruin my life. Oh, man. Damn. Yeah, I couldn't really get a good angle on that play because the Viego got a kill, which allowed him to pick up, pick something up and then prevent me from hitting him, which really sucked. It's usually there. If he wouldn't have gotten the kill, I would have just insta-killed him, basically, because he ulted forward and then that would have just finished him instantly. Oh, if I didn't take the turret shield, I think I may have had a chance to beat that still, that entire situation. But that turret shield damage came in and just ruined me. Like an extra 231 damage is quite big there. Plus, I got ignited, which obviously doesn't help. Uh, it's a little aggressive, I will say. Like, diving between turrets there, definitely not ideal, especially considering Cannon probably didn't have his ultimate yet. So, yeah. Definitely not great. Too optimistic on that one, for sure. I gave... I gave Diego a thousand gold. Oh, God. That is not good. Make sure I keep up the dragon pressure, I suppose. Oh, right, that's a sapling. Like, what What kind of weird ward is that? But that's a sapling. Okay. Oh, bolt here, I think. All right. It's going to be quite difficult to get into their jungle with a Maokai. Oh, this is just super free. Lux? Lux? Yoo-hoo! We're going mid, eh? Alright then. That kinda sucks. I hope she gets it like gets kills out of that on mid. If we went bolt lane together, that would have just been free kills, but. Right, so <laughs> got the misfortune. I don't know if that's really worth the time. We could have gotten the rise and the Maokai there if the Lux would have followed me. I need to kill, kill this quickly and react. I wonder if the scuttle is still here. Rise recall went top lane. Okay, blue should be here. Yeah, it is good. Want to play for this dragon? Looks like a fight I might have to react to here. Dudes, you are kidding me. 
them. Katarina chose to go for the other guy. I don't know. That's just... I don't know what Katarina just did, to be honest. Uh, whatever. She went off on the road to the side. I mean, I guess she killed two people, but I think going for, like, the GP, the hit combo here was going to be slightly better. To kill. Let's go for Drake here. It's fine. I think the biggest threat on their team is pro like it's either Viego or Gangplank, but I think Gangplank's probably slightly bigger on the threat level. I say slightly, I don't know. Uh, team, can we finish this dragon? I don't know why they tried to do that. All we have to do is just go drag here. I guess that jungler is dead, so that means dragon is free, but. She needs... Oh, why did you teleport, man? Katarina should have just walked full plane there. Dude, Katarina, I beg of you, man. Kill the rice. He is literally dead. Just don't... St like, she randomly just keeps walking into mid lane for no reason, you know? It's just weird. I don't know, man. She literally let him get my blue and my Gromp by just not walking up towards this play, even though I assist pinged her 50 times. That just, that just feels bad. I need to, I need to get like 100 and... Dude. She's wasting my time so heavily by doing this. Because now I have to wait for this camp to reset, have to wait for it to walk all the way back. Annoying. I was recall now, saw the potion. I could have already been in base, basically, if she would just not have touched the camp. Katarina's dead here. I don't know, it's just strange positioning there. I don't know what she's doing. All right, we are very strong right now. Very, very strong. We're gonna clap them. Next up, I mean... Pretty much it's gonna go Death's Dance Force and Atrio, I think. Something along those lines. Dude, can I auto- Jesus Christ, I was just not able to reach. Actually crazy. I don't know why I didn't get any any auto attacks off there. That sucks. That really suck. Help me. You don't beat me here, buddy. That's just a good bait. That works. We can burn. Got my smite in 30 seconds, actually. I don't know if that's going to be a problem or not, but... GP also ulted, so that's kind of good. I'm not going to have smite for this. We Okay, we're bursting it. Okay, cool. I, I was just making sure that I kept keep spam pinging my smite. I, it's a good dragon because the enemy jungler is dead and they probably won't expect us to do it that quickly. But it's still going to be a little risky. Potentially, you know. Got the armor here. I just want to get a little bit of extra armor in there right now, and it's going to help be uh, very beneficial. I've got enough damage in these three items that I can just go for like some. Uh, like the sustain from this is insane already, you know? That type of deal. Actually, going to get this real quick when I'm walking past it anyway. Good. I'm going to go bot lane with cannon here in this situation. Ideally, is Gromp... Okay, definitely not going to be up. Uh, is Blue and Scuttle are spawning. I'll take the blue for sure. I suppose I should go do the Scuttle, because the level up is quite valuable. 
Level up is worth quite a lot of gold. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what the hell Cannon was doing with that one, but okay. That looked a little uh, interesting. Call it that. I mean, Maka can't go on me, he would be dead. Interesting. 28 seconds on Soul. We should definitely play for Soul. It would be very, very stupid not to play for Soul here. We're going mid because there's a fight mid. That kind of works. Kind of suicided right after though, but. Good kill. Okay, well, that kind of works for us, I suppose. I, I should have pressed ult, man. I really should have just pressed ult. Uh, whatever. That's a decent game, honestly. My bot lane won, I won the rest of the map. I say my bot lane won, I, I don't know. My top lane lost quite heavily. ADCS down. Guess it kind of evens out. Anyway, that's it for Olaf. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you please make sure to the like button below, helps me quite a bit. If like to see more videos from in the future, hit the subscribe button as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Alright, so for the damage stats on the end here as well, I ended up doing 17.4k damage, which. If you look at this objectively, it's actually probably the highest relevant damage in the game. Because a lot of this damage that they, that laners can do, like they get like 5,000-ish, 5, 6,000 damage out of a laning phase by just poking the enemy champion, if you know what I mean. So in a lot of situations, like for this stage in the game still, uh, all my damage is like relevant fight damage, whereas they have like five to 6,000 poke damage in a lane, which obviously paths their damage stats a little bit, but still like very solid damage done overall, really. But yeah, that's like you do have to keep that in mind with laners because they can just like do like a thousand damage for free uh, every so often or throughout a laning phase, like uh, like recall get a thousand damage. The enemy has to recall, comes back, do another thousand damage, etc. You know, so that's something to keep in mind for a laning phase if you're looking at like a jungler's damage dealt to champions. The longer the game goes on, obviously the less relevant that is. But like pre thirty minutes, that does still have quite an impact over like overall damage done. So that is something to keep in mind. Uh, 4,800 true damage, which is very substantial. We have 40k objective damage, very, very good. Got all the dragons, basically. Would have gotten the last soul, but the last fight just won us the game. So it's a very good thing to uh, keep in mind, you know, objectives as... 22.4k uh, damage taken, which is the highest. We have healing done at 10.5k as well. So very solid there. Self-mitigated damage at 23k as well. So uh, we're doing quite well there. Gold earned is the highest at 13.4k. And then for the runes, not the best uptime on lethal tempo, mostly because they just kind of die too quickly in certain situations. But the lethal tempo is going to be very, very good. The later you go, the tankier things get, you can get all those extra auto attacks. And, you know, lethal tempo has, like, the uptime has been there. It just never really maxed out to the max attack speed. I still got the extra attack speed, like, to a certain point for the most part. Which helps me a lot in fights, obviously, getting those hits in faster, but yeah. Last stand here, 430 damage, not the most, but I'll, then again, I also didn't get low very, very frequently. There are some clutch fights where this last stand kicked in for 430 extra damage. And if this number is here, it's a very relevant damage because you will be low, or low enough to where, yeah, this damage makes a big difference in that 1v1 or 2v1 or whatever situation you are in. And then approach velocity for about 60 seconds just helps you with chasing on your axes and stuff like that, you know. And uh, yeah, that is about all. Goodbye.